Okay, so it's, I'm going to try and talk about the uh, psychology uh, behind the volume shift, and you saw the on the previous video, the um, volume would go like this, up and down, and down. And what happens here, I'll give you um, a real world example, what happened, um, the Euro USD. So we'll use this uh, line as the long and short values. So this is the price. Okay, now price came below 1.1. And so what happened? We had an increase of shorts uh, over and over and over. Now, so what happened here? They've got trapped because if you saw my uh, telegram, you'd have known that there was a stop loss cluster here. And then it just rebounded. Now, these guys now, they're trapped. Okay. Put that green. Put that. And then, so these guys are now trapped. Okay. So, this is the interesting thing. Now, over time, now, what happens when price comes down here, yeah, which is what it's doing, okay, this value, because we know they cut their winners early. Now, these guys are short, don't forget. Okay, so when it comes down here, they're looking to break even. And they'll consider that a success. Okay, so this is the, this is the um, important part. Is that as soon as they go into profit, this reduces. Okay. So what we're seeing now is that as the Euro USD is coming down in price, they're exiting. Okay. Now, if you saw this other video that I just made, this indicates bearishness. Okay. This is bullish. If it comes down, if it goes up, it's, it's bearish. So it the price comes down, they're exiting. So this is what's happening here. They're just getting out now. And then that's helping us with our analysis of what's going on with the Euro USD. So that's like a real world example. So you'll see on the spreadsheet that this is coming down, coming up, up and up and up and up. So that's bearish. And what will happen now is that the longs, let's do that to green, they'll increase. You see, as that's going up, that will come up. Because if they've exited with a tiny win, they might have just broke even. They'll normally reverse. You know, it makes sense, doesn't it? You know, you've, you've got out of a profit and you think, oh, okay, so now I'll, I'll just change my bias. Now, what will happen now, this is why the market's very clever. There'll be a period of time, and it might take a few days, where um, this bounces up and down, up and down. And this, it's almost like a wash machine where the retail are caught in a loop, in like a consolidation area. So this will be, you probably find the price is within a range. Now, a zigzag like this. And that's exactly what the banks and the institutions want. They want us to get, get us to commit to a particular direction. So, um, so hopefully I've explained this. It's a little bit complicated, but it's all it is is just basically a trap, and then it's a trap, and then it's a trap, and then it's a trap. So by looking at the volumes, we'll know if we just do the opposite of that. Then we'll be okay. Um, but what's happening here? Hopefully you've understood that by them exiting the the wins, it's now creating um, a stronger bias now. So um, yeah, hopefully it makes sense. So um, but I'll, I'll probably if it doesn't make sense, I can just make another video. It doesn't matter. But um, we'll probably find ourselves in this consolidation area while this uh, zigzags up and down for a while and until the next trap occurs. So um, as we stand, this um, is reducing, so it's bearish, so it will come down. But the moment that comes down here, then it will come up, you see? So uh, that's that. Um,
Okay, well, uh, let me know if it makes sense, and I appreciate any feedback.